Now, hello. Welcome back to Pokemon X. We're very close to the end. Very, very close. Got a big ass castle right in front of me. I haven't made any changes to my team. Uh, other than rearranging them, I put Tyrantrum up front. I don't actually know what I'm going to be facing. I purposefully didn't look up anything about the Elite Four other than levels. And all I know is that I'm severely underleveled. Um, but I'm going to keep Tyrantrum up front just for Stealth Rock. So at the very least, if I'm going to be struggling, I can at least chip away at their health. Um, but yeah, I haven't made any changes other than that. Didn't know if I had a Surf or whatever that was. It's a fancy door. And there's people. The Elite Four await you at the Pokemon League. The specialties are... Fire, Water, Steel, and Dragon. Well, I guess that was spoiled for me. You can choose to battle them in any order you please. All you need to do is win and move on. Okay. If I can find the Fire one, that would actually be great for Stealth Rocks. You sure you're ready for this? Sure. One more step and you'll have to beat every one of the Elite Four or be defeated. There'll be no other escape for you. Sounds terrifying. Oh, um... Is there anything specific about these things on the wall, or no? Probably not. I guess there's no going back from here. Hi. You're the illustrious ace, are you? I've never been called that in my life. But yes. Welcome at last to the Pokemon League. I'm one of the Elite Four. People know me as the Fire-type Pokemon user, Malva. Here in the Pokemon League, you'll encounter the four of us, the Elite Four, and our champion. If you hope to meet the champion and challenge her here, you must first defeat the four of us. Do your best, because if you can't impress us with your real strength, you never get to battle her. But it should be a walk in the park for you, right? The hero who destroyed Big Bad Team Flare. Are you undermining my achievements? Fair enough, all I did was push A. I, which one's which? Blazing Chamber. Okay, that's probably fire. This one is... Ironworks. Probably still. Dragons. And I'm guessing the other one is... The last one. Water. I was gonna say electric. That was very much incorrect. Um, hmm. Okay. I think I actually do want to start with fire, just because it sounds like it's gonna be easy enough with self rocks. Hopefully. Besides, she was being snide about my achievements. What is that statue? Okay, settle down. Easy way to kill your opponent, I guess. Welcome, Challenger, to my blazing chamber. Is that what you call this? How'd you ever come up with that clever name? I am Alva, and I shall be your opponent today. You're very much to the point. Starting out with Pyroar. Alright, well, normal and fire. I actually resist both those types. I'll just do Stealth Rocks. Hyper Voice. Barely even touches me. Getting pretty desperate. Gotta lower my stats. Don't know if Earthquake's gonna knock you out now. I think it should. Yeah, there we go. And it was a crit. That's probably why. Switching over to Lapras, because she's gonna go for Torkoal. The thing is, Torkoal has very good defense. And I also can't remember which moves were introduced in what gen, but pretty sure it gets some decent ground type moves. And since I'm Rock type, I. 
don't want to stay in with the Tyrantrum. I will, however, Rain Dance. And you also get Stone Edge. So it didn't really matter what I switched into. I was going to take super effective hits. Wonderful. Now to go for Surf. This should take care of you. I don't think you have much special defense. Goodbye. This is just unfortunate for her. Those rocks. Absolutely detrimental. You do get to go first, but I don't think you're not going to be out here. You, on the other hand, do not survive. Switch over to Aegis Slash, which might seem dumb, considering I'm weak to both Ghost and Fire. But it is in the rain. You're going for Confuse Ray. Okay. I was expecting you to try to hit me. I was going to say I am defensive for now. I really hope I don't hurt myself, because I'll take actual damage from that. No defenses. High attack. Please. Bruh. That, yeah, that, that's brutal. At least I can get a Shadow Sneak. That almost actually knocked you out. Or you just slash. I figured she might go for a full restore. So I guess it was a good idea to send in Charizard for the Shadow Claw. Though I maybe should have Mega Evolved first. At least I can do that now. Goodbye. What news? So a new challenger has defeated Malva with the Elite Four. You think very highly of yourself. Literally think she's hot. Fantastic. Utterly fantastic. Everybody uses the same descriptive words. I report to all the world the news of you and your Pokemon dominating the Pokemon League. I just beat one person. You really think you're special, don't you? I am a Holocaster star after all. If you say so, what does that even mean? Something about an elevator. This thing. I think next I want to take on the Dragon Mark chamber. While my lead is very much weak to dragons, it's also strong against dragons. Plus, there's a good chance that there's going to be like a dragon flying type, I'm sure. Which means that they're going to be weak to stealth rocks. Fancy chamber. I don't know what it is with the Pokemon games, but there's some weird obsession revolving around dragons and old statues. I don't know what it is. Hello. Oh goodness, hello to you. Welcome, welcome, come in. You seem friendly. You must be quite a strong trainer. Just wonderful news. Facing opponents like you and your team will make my, po my Pokemon grow like weeds. What, be a menace? Starting off with your Galgi. Okay. Poison dragon type? I think you can get like poison point, poison heal, something like that. As long as I don't touch you. Is it going to hurt? Wow. Where did my HP go? I think the most optimal play is to send in Lapras, spam Ice Beam, hopefully, maybe. You actually took that pretty well. And of course you got Thunderbolt. Thankfully, I am fat. This one should kill you, though. I think I'm just going to stay in against this one. Not flying type. But you're still weak to Ice Beam.
The downside is this one does tend to hit like a truck, so I'm probably dead here. I am very close. Imagine having 50 HP and still being red health. I don't know if Drodagon has any priority. I don't think it does. Aha. At least this one doesn't. I'm just gonna keep staying in until Lapras faints. I do have healing items. I'm gonna try not to use them during battle. I'm actually faster. Okay, good. Plus, if I can just Oko everything with Ice Beam, then... I just really don't need to switch. Dragon flying. Hold it. You had two of them. This one is faster, though. I don't think I survive. Oof. Oh, I do. Lapras sweep? Hello? Oh my god, okay. Oh dear me, that show was a quick battle. I agree, that that was a little fast. I do hope you'll come back again sometime. Uh, yeah, next time I'll just bring Lapras. See if I can do it without the Zelda Rocks. You and your Pokemon are simply charming. You only saw like two of them. Huh? Oh, are you going already? Farewell then. That was even the second you've beaten. I suppose it's just as well, really. Go on, it's time for you to show the last two of us how strong you are. Very friendly. I like this lady. Gonna go for the water guy this time. Decided to put the steel person last, just because uh, they're not going to take any damage from rocks, so... I don't even know if I'm going to use stealth rocks in that one. I probably will just for, like, minor chip, but I don't think it's going to do any good. Chains. And spikes. How fancy. And now we're all drowning. Gotta say, I do like the effects for the Pokemon League better in this game than the previous ones. Gotta be extra special for the 3D. No, I simply can't say. Say what? You there, young man. I have a question I'm supposed to you. Do you think Pokemon battling can ever be worthy of being called an art? Sure. You can call anything art. Indeed. You see, cooking is the type of art that disappears as soon as it's completed. Pokemon battles are the same. Even memories of sweet victories soon fade after the battle ends. To devote yourself entirely to such a life, made up of fleeting experiences, that is truly artful. Somewhat wise words. Clawitzer. Oh. Oh, um... I'm in danger. This thing has a... Uh, oh, what's that ability? Mega Launcher. So all of its uh, pulse bullet moves get super strong. And I'm pretty sure it gets Aura Sphere. So I'm going to set up a South Rocks and then die. If it has Dragon Pulse, it also boosts that too. It, yeah, it gets that. Okay, sure. Maybe it doesn't have Aura Sphere. <laughs> Definitely had a super effective button, though. Don't know if you have anything for Chestnut. I am faster. And I am taking Recoil, but I think this should knock you out. Thank God. Switching over to Aegislash, because you decided to go for Starmie. I don't exactly resist Psychic. But I can tank a hit, and then dish Shadow Shadow Ball. So here's where I've reached a bit of a problem. I don't have anything for Gyarados, because I don't have Thunder anymore. Thankfully, you're weak to the rocks. But yeah, the only thing I have is Chestnut, and I figured you'd be Intimidate. Okay. 
I mean, I can get rid of one of those boosts. So I'm not really dealing any damage. And now I'm in danger. You have Ice Fang. Oh dear. And I flinch. What is this game? Exception to the roll. If I'm gonna lose because of RNG BS, I'm not gonna deal with that. I am gonna use a healing item. Though I'm pretty sure two of these kills me anyway. Is that a crit? Bruh. Again, if RNG is just gonna fuck me over. Okay, so I can't actually survive two of those. What is this game? Set up another dragon dance. Watch me not ever get a crit. Of course not. And I use a full restore. The thing is, I... I really don't like... When everything gets boiled down to RNG, because it's like... You, you, it doesn't matter how much skill you put into your team. Because, I, I mean, as a level 63 chestnut, I, I can beat a level 63 Gyarados. But then you add in this RNG BS of you're either going to flinch, or you're going to get crit, or you're going to freeze. And then all three of those happen. And that's the reason why I lose. That's some absolute bullshit. I think we're speed tied. Wait, I just realized we're actually not speed tied. I'm getting the upper hand on speed drops because you wasted a time with a full restore, which gives me one plus speed drop. So I think you're actually two speed drops down after all said and done. So I'm not knocking you out with Rock Tomb, but I'm probably going to dive to Ice Fang here. That misses? I thought I got buffed to higher accuracy. Huh. It's a 95 accuracy. Are you kidding me? Why is it 95? Why? At least I'm still faster than Gyarados. But you also have no speed now. And I believe Kangaskhan can actually outspeed you now. Goodbye. This whole battle's been a huge struggle. And I gotta face this thing now. Which I'm pretty sure has the ability Tough Claws. Which means if it touches me, it's gonna hurt. But I do have Sacred Sword. And I'm faster. Of all the times, it's not a good idea for Aegislaus to be faster. That's definitely one of them. I'm still trying to avoid using healing items. Which means I'm kind of stuck with uh, having to rely on Charizard to do this. I might just make a evolve just to make sure I can actually get some damage out. And finally defeated. I shall store my memory of you and your Pokemon forever away within my heart. Gross. Devote yourself entirely, so even that which will fade and disappear is ingrained for forever upon your heart and mind. That is the only fate for any human. There's only one course remaining in your Pokemon League banquet. Delicious. Devour it with the hunger for strength. Savor it without leaving a scrap behind. I think he just wants a sandwich. Now, for the Ironworks Chamber, I don't think, again, Stealth Rox is going to do anything. But I'll still leave with Torrentrum. I'll still set him up. I do have Earthquake, so I'm not completely useless against still types. What the hell? Bruh, okay. 
still looking at me. Peekaboo, I see you. I'm going to walk as close to this guy. Why do you look like that? Well met, young challenger. What? Verily, I am I the Elite Four's famed blade of hardened steel, Wickstrom. With my magnificent Pokemon on my side, I will reveal the scope of trainer achievements. Let us both give our word that our contest shall be fair and honorable. Ready? On guard. Salute. I bet you're the one that's made fun of. Ah, he's leaving with Klefki. <laughs> well, as a dragon rock type, I don't fare very well against fairy seal types. Prankster spikes, of course. We have the same idea. Oh, you're going for the extra layer. One benefit of spikes over stealth rocks. However, flying types are immune to the spikes. End up chestnut. Take some damage. There's the damage. But yeah, Purple Pass is rock and steel type, so it really takes nothing for damage. But I'm pretty sure this will kill you. If it'll land. Thank you. I decided to send out Aeg Aegislash because he's going to go for the same thing. I'm kind of banking on the fact that you're higher level, so maybe you'll outspeed me. Damn. I die here. However, I did some pretty decent damage. Just enough to finish you off with a nice little flame door. Uh, of course. But you couldn't stand change back, so... Bye-bye. And, yeah, save the worst for last. Sorry, bro. Yeah, you don't even get to really resist the rocks either because you're part bug type. That's just neutral damage. Okay, so still wasn't actually too bad. Glorious. Well, it's better than using Fantastic all the time. The trust that you share with your honorable Pokemon surpasses even mine. Mm-hmm. I'm getting Buku Bucks for this. What now? What sweet, glorious pain enjoyed now rock my mighty heart. I will, which even Shakespeare... Okay, enough of that speak. Short champion, the same strength you have shown us. That is, in fact, why I'm here. Ooh, we get to step outside. I, I'm gonna heal first, though. You know, it's kind of a testament to how OP Aegislash is when the only real way that it has difficulty is when it out actually is outspeeding something because its own ability turns <laughs> into its own downfall. I don't have King's Shield, so I can't really do too much with it. Except for swapping it out. But I'm gonna put it in the lead because I don't really know what I'm gonna be facing. This is the champion, after all. A little bit nervous. I did save as well, so I have difficulty with a bunch of RNG BS. And I can reset. Oh, I actually have another chamber. Radiant chamber, very radiant. Okay. This shit just floating? Really? Okay, this is a pretty cool room flowy curtains. Welcome at last, dear trainer. As you must know, I am the champion Diantha. Oh, but you are? You're the child I spoke to in Lumio City and Kumarin City, aren't you? And I must, uh, then that means that you are also the one that dear Augustine said. Of course, how could I? Oh, I must look like such a fool not to recognize you sooner. 
Yes, we we have met a couple times, but it, it, is it just me or is that the way she's talking just seems really weird? Doesn't seem like she's making any sense. Maybe it's just me. You and your Pokemon are the ones who stopped Team Flyer for us all. It's like we we had like a relatively meaningful conversation after talking to the professor. I think that was actually at Kumarine City. But now she's acting like she's never really met us before. Maybe maybe she's just did she? I don't know. It seems wrong of me to say this, but thank you. You saved us all. I can't wait to see what you and your Pokemon are capable of now that I know exactly what it is you've done already. She gets her own little custom effects and everything. And fancy animation. Oh, starting off with Halucha. Already trying to set up. Luckily, you outspeed me, but it doesn't really matter if you're not going to actually attack me. Okay. She's going to heal her first Pokemon. She's really trying hard. That's fair. You went for X, is there? Doesn't matter if I'm not sand changed or not. That just does nothing to me. That I, I caught a resist. I was expecting to have to sack Aegis Slash here because you went for a sword stance, so I just thought I was going to die. Then again, I didn't really know what you are going to do to me. I just resist everything you had, I guess. Going for Gudra. I... We'll actually switch, just because, again, I'm stand changed. Let's go Lapras. I mean, I still got to deal with Gudra's high special defense, but I'll deal with it. Oh, you actually outspeed me. Interesting. And you got frozen. Oh, this is free. Then again, she might just use a full restore. Or not. Maybe she has to be low health for that. So now she'll probably do it. In that case, I'll take this opportunity to switch to a stronger Pokemon. Actually, no, I'm kind of glad I decided to just to go for another Ice Beam because you're not going to waste one. I figured that I could just go for two more. And then you're probably knocking me out with a Focus Blast if it lands. And then I can priority with Aegis Slash. Didn't really matter. Free level up, though. Two of them. Three of them. Tyrantrum versus Tyrantrum. Let's see which one's stronger. Probably Tyrantrum. So, I mean, if I was outspeeding the other Aegis Slash, maybe I can outspeed this Tyrantrum? Maybe? Dragon Clock? Hey. It's free. And it's a crit. And for the other fossil, I have Aegis Slash. Hate to do it to him. I probably could have just stayed in, but I can't stand change back, and I probably get outsped by this slow thing. So I decided to just burn it to death. And again, I'm running into the issue where I don't know what moves are introduced when. So maybe this thing has mystical fire? That might have been added in a later gen, though. But I'm just gonna smack you with my head. Oh, you're going to make it evolve. Now you're extra fancy. Oh, that was fun. I was only mildly underleveled. Witnessing the noble spirits of you and your Pokemon in battle has really touched my heart. And I get 16 grand for this one. I, I'm so choked up that it's hard to know what I should say, but I, I, I'm just so glad at this moment that I was such, that I was good enough to be the champion.
After all, it gave me the chance to meet and battle with you and your wonderful Pokemon. Now I understand why dear Augustine, Professor Sycamore, said he needed to get Lumio City ready for the new champion. But before I take you there, my dear Ace, would you mind coming this way with me? Where are we going? Back downstairs? Even further beyond. Well, heaven is a little gloomier than I expected. Didn't even ask if I wanted to save, but it's fine. Here we are. I'm so glad to welcome you in. This grand chamber is where you enter the Kalos Regents Hall of Fame. This is where Pokemon trainers will live on forever, remembered always for giving their all in battle to the Pokemon League and for the glory and light that they shared with all. Come on, Mace. Your love for your Pokemon and the way that those Pokemon gave everything they had in battle for you will record them all right here for eternity. That's cool, it even shows which Pokeball they were caught in. Aegis Slash, absolutely OP. Had to be nerfed. Tarantrum, my favorite of the fossils, even though Aurora's look better. Draco, has to be on the team, it's a Charizard. Lapras, also just fat, OP, I gotta love it. And Chestnut, I actually have a new found respect for it. And Kingushkan. Kingushkan can be a lot better because, you know, it has its own mega evolution and some pretty decent moves, but even with just HM moves, I was still able to take out a Pokemon that I had absolute difficulties with. There it goes. But yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with this team. I, I really do like these Pokemon. I was pleasantly surprised that I was going to actually like these Pokemon. Even Chestnut. I, again, I started the series saying that I wasn't really that interested in the grass starter because I had used Chestnut in the Scarlet and Violet event, and I just wasn't that impressed. I'm like, okay, it's slow. Cool, it's got a lot of tank and it can hit hard, but if it's slow, not much you can do with it. It's just fast enough where it needs to outspeed what it needs to, and it can take hits where it needs to. It actually did its job as a decent starter. I'm quite pleased with that one. It also helped that I had Charizard on the team too to make up for any flaws and Aegislash, Slash, but yeah, Chestnut's still pretty good. But yeah, congratulations on becoming Pokemon League champion. Mm hmm. A few days later, crowds of people gathered in Lumio City to celebrate the five defenders of the Kalos region and to cheer for its new champion, Ace. Hey, it's me. And did they really even do anything? One of them was dancing, the other one was busy with his Pokedex. What an amazing turnout. All these people are here to celebrate your achievements. I'd like to present you with the honor of Kalos for the bravery. I didn't read that fast enough. I'm so proud of you all. On behalf of the entire Kalos region, I'd like to say. Thank you. Battle with me. I want to know what a trainer is. There's nothing wrong with the volume, it's just quiet.
I don't know if you noticed, but we also got no experience for any of that battle. Thank you very much for battling with me. Now I finally feel free. Free from the part of me mired in sorrow. Part of me that built the ultimate weapon. It's been 3,000 years. His Pokemon was waiting all this time. Waiting for him to return to the man he was. The man who loved Pokemon with all his heart. Always a classic. You need you, Masuda. Well, this is definitely a game that I have remorse for not playing earlier. I... Huh. See, the thing with Gen 5 is it changed competitive Pokemon so drastically that people that were just getting into competitive, like myself, were instantly put off by actually a lot of Gen 5 and when Gen 6 got announced with all the Mega Evolution stuff and all these weird power creep things I, I just completely lost interest in the games forgetting completely that Gen 5 was actually my favorite generation purely because of the story and I should have thought Hey, I like the story so much, and I really like the sequels to those games. Black and White 2 had a really good story, too. And it was a great continuation of this original story. So clearly, they would put some sort of effort into Gen 6's story. And sure enough, now that I've played the game, I gotta say, I have to say this is probably my second favorite generation in terms of story alone. I, I still really like Gen 5. It, it's may, maybe there's a little bit of nostalgia factor there because that was the last gen that I played before just kind of quitting the series for a bit. But yeah, the story in this was really good. I, I really like the ending of this. The Floret coming back, which by the way, the Floret is in, it's a specific model that you can't actually obtain within the game. And it, like, it has its own separate stats and everything, like its own Pokemon data, but it's not actually obtainable as a Pokemon. Um, Eternal Flower or something like that is the name of it. But it supposedly it's like technically like a kind of an OP Pokemon. Uh, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, with Floyd coming back to AZ at the end, when he's kind of feeling remorseful for all of his, well, I guess, Technically, I guess, crimes if he built the giant weapon. Going back to him at the end when he kind of realizes, hey, I, I did wrong and this is the result of what I've done. Kind of giving him more of a humanistic build at the end instead of just some giant, mysterious, creepy man that's walking around the region. It's actually kind of wholesome. I like that. But this game is 
definitely a game that I, again i wish i played earlier I, I feel like i would have enjoyed a little bit of the oh goodness you and i were born right here in the same world there's words on the screen what's happening and it's also in french which by the way if you didn't notice this game does take place in Kalos, which is based on france uh, if you want to read that, you can read that. I'm, I'm doing my outro. Shut up, leave me alone. Uh, but yeah, I feel like this is a, the type of game where I, I still feel like I probably could have been interested in the competitive scene. But yeah, with that weird power creep, I just never got interested in it. I'm, I'm in the very small minority of people that was glad that Mega Evolution since he moves were cut from Gen 8. Dynamax was kind of gimmicky all on its own but that's that's its own thing but honestly i'd have to rate this game if i was to rate it out of 10 i'd give it a nine uh, there's a few things that i i didn't like i i mean granted i i do need to keep in mind that this is definitely a game targeted for children obviously but there's a lot of handholdy stuff with this game it's not as bad as later gens for sure but there's still quite a bit of tutorial and holding at the very beginning. The battling is also very heavy on the animation side. I, I more notice that when I'm editing uh, because of the way I've been doing my editing for uh, this series, I've been cutting the battles to just showing the animations for the most part, just kind of cutting out the selection of moves and text because it does take up a lot of time in the video. And my videos have actually been cut down relatively well since I put more effort into the editing with that. But there's still relatively large segments of clips. If I'm just doing animations, I, I've noticed that there's still like seven seconds, eight seconds. Some of them are like almost 14 second long clips. And I'm like, they, it, it looks cool and all, but this is the reason why people complained with Gen 9 not being able to turn off animations. They started going extra for no reason, which that's cool. That's all for them. Uh, the graphics designers that are doing the cool designs for the moves and everything. But it's it's definitely a, a little extra. <laughs> it still looks cool, though. This game was a lot of fun. I'm glad I played it. And more importantly, I'm glad that you guys watched. Maybe some of you subscribed. Maybe some of you guys have tuned into some live streams. If you are interested, I plan to do a continuation of Generation 6. Because this was my first uh, dive into Gen 6, basically. Um, but I do intend to live stream Auras. I happen to have Alpha Sapphire. I do want to stream that. I played a little bit of it, got to Marvel and... I, with my old computer, it was just way too laggy on my emulator. Uh, but with this new PC, I think I should be able to play it pretty well. But I do want to live stream it. But that said, this isn't exactly thin because there's always some post game stuff. And with the post game for this game, I don't really know how much there is. And I'm trying to do my best to just avoid walkthroughs. I, I'm looking up the stuff after I've already completed it <laughs> so I can go back and pick up items if I forgot any which I haven't actually missed any I well any important items I've missed a few here and there I'm just like eh, that might have been useful but nothing major um but yeah I'm trying to avoid all spoilers and everything still so I I don't know how much post game there is but I do intend to put that into its own separate video um but I'm also looking forward to the next series which I mean not really much of a spoiler alert. It's going to be Gen 7. I'm curious about Alola. That said, if you're interested in seeing that, I would recommend hitting the subscribe button. You can get notified for all the videos and live streams, which again, I do intend to start live streaming a bit of Alpha Sapphire. I do want to complete that. But that is going to do it for this series, for the most part. Again, there is still post game. But. If you enjoy the series as much as I have, feel free to drop a like, or you can drop a dislike. Let me know if you like Gen 6, if you dislike Gen 6. Let me know about your teams down in the comments. I'm curious, how did you guys do uh, when you guys beat the game for the first time? Did you guys use any OP Pokemon like Aegislash? 
is you do it with a bunch of Bidoof. How'd you do it? Actually, I don't think Bidoof is even in this game. But uh, I, I'm kind of curious how you guys played this game. What were your teams like? I'm curious. But until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.